surprise for you. Da 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 da. <laughs> we have some. Wait, the ladies of loveliness. I don't know what we call the men. I don't know, men of honor. I don't know, something. <laughs> okay, we have two men that are connected to the military. From the military, works on the base. So I mean, I don't know what they're gonna say. But anyway, <laughs> we're gonna give it a shot. I'm super excited. We're going to have them answer a relationship question. Oh, the G as relationship. Have you guys in relationships? Yes. This is Mike. This is Tony. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> and they're both in relationships. I'm in a relationship too. <laughs> <laughs> so we got something in common. Yes. All right, here we go. Dear Dr. Jim, it's complicated. So guys, it's a complicated situation. <laughs> that's what that's what it means if it's like tricky or something. <laughs> I met a guy at my new job. The co-workers were teasing him because he, had, he just had a breakup. We would laugh and talk, and then he left after a couple of weeks and went to another job. A month later, we ran into each other, and he asked me on a date. I said, cool, and we started seeing each other. Then his ex told him that she's almost five months pregnant. Mm -hmm. I told you it's complicated. Oh, that's complicated. <laughs> Is that complicated? That's complicated. <laughs> we really liked each other and was uh, getting serious. But then I'm like, it's complicated. And I don't know what to do. Don't worry, Mike and Tony are going to tell you what to do. <laughs> <laughs> what is she going to do? Oh. I know, poor thing. Okay, so it's like, that's a hard thing. It depends on how kooky the ex girlfriend is, okay, with this whole situation, I would think. So I think that she has to kind of wait and see how it plays out. Unless she just has to jump out right now. Why was mine? So, uh, you know this person, but the communication with them. You know, that person is a little inspired of what's happening in their lives. You know, they're a little stick to them. You understand what that Oh my gosh. His first sentence was fabulous. He said, life is complicated. That is so true. It's not the very good point. So we're going to always have situations. Very good point. I'm telling you, I don't know. I don't know, maybe the loneliness told me it's making some good points. Okay, that was my time to say. Uh, since I was in the military, uh, uh -oh. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I do appreciate that advice. Um, I'm just going to pump the brakes just a little bit, just a little bit. Coming to a new relationship and you telling me you have a child on the way from your ex, and I know I'm crazy about you, I, I would just say I agree with a lot of the advice of the preacher. I just be cautious because of the relationship with the ex and with the child. So I would slow it down just a little bit, do a wait and see, like what you just said, Dr. Jim. Because it depends on how much of that connection I feel with this individual. So I would slow it down. I wouldn't say absolute no, but that leader is closer to the no. <laughs> 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 that is true. That is true. People are like ladies and loving this. Doesn't want anybody to have <laughs> It's like they feel like they have this connection. And you know what? It was just like happenstance that they ran back into each other. So maybe it was meant to be. It's like Tony said, life is complicated. So now they got a little bit of, you know what? Here's the thing. If they can get over that hurdle, then they probably can have a really good relationship. But I think you're right. I don't think they should just like kind of go full forward ahead. They should kind of see, you know, how it goes. And then, if things seem to be working out with the two of them, and the ex is not too creepy because you know, never know about these ex, and then we go from there. So, I think it's good advice. Oh, yeah. The men are giving good advice. Oh, oh gee, as a patient. Okay. I have another question for you guys. Are you ready? This is a business question. Okay. All right. So I have been in my job for five years, and I'm ready for a promotion. 
you gave me a mini one. But I went back to school, I got my MBA, so I'm expecting that I would be able to go higher. Well, they posted a new job, I applied for it, yet they told me that I was the president. My question is, do I continue to work and see if something will change, or should I go take my skills and my degree elsewhere? Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and I've, I've, I've seen this situation before. And, um, it's not a bad experience. But millennials are very good at this way. I've had this position for six months now. And they have to do that. And all of us all have to do that. But the, the fact of the matter is that in the company, that was a sort of Small position, That's a good point. It's not always the finance that goes with it. It's also the organization and how they treat you. And you did get a promotion. Maybe it wasn't a big one that you wanted, but like you said, you know, give us some time. Be grateful. I like that. What do you think? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like having something over here that we don't know about? I mean, what's going on? I don't want to come across negative. <laughs> Might be too late. <laughs> Just going to say this here. I'm torn on both sides. They just gave me a promotion. I went back to school and got me some more education. And you're right, I, I should continue to work. But I also, if I will be a hypocrite if I don't use my own advice. Know your worth. Know your worth. So if you know your worth and you feel that that position, you are more than capable of accomplishing and doing an excellent job. I wouldn't say hurry up and rush into it because Mr. Bill still have to get paid. So I'm not telling you just leave, but I would definitely keep it in my mind, know your work, and if there's another organization who's willing to take that risk on you, I say go for it because someone yeah. might want to keep you. No, you your you. work, your work may not be ready for what they're looking for. So yeah, you might be worth something, that's true, I agree. But I think that you have to see what the company wants. So just because you went back to that MBA does not mean that you're ready for a promotion. Big deal, you know what I'm saying? You have to show them what you can do. It could be personality, not just, you know, it could be more than what, you know, you've learned. It could be that there's some other technical things that you don't know. We don't know. But I think that that's correct. But they should give us some time to see what happens. I mean, they can go to another job and get fired and sit down. It's like, oh, okay, I'm going to go get this better job. And then I'm like, oh, you know. So I don't know. But I think that we both are right. I love having the gentleman. Audience, let me hear your hand clap if you like having the gentleman. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Okay, we will be back and we will see who's going to be at the table next. <laughs>